A suspected case of drag racing in broad daylight lands an innocent driver in the hospital for almost a week. The Stone Mountain woman turns 35 today. She spent the day in the hospital. A number of drivers stopped that day to help, including a nurse. As Fox 5's Patty Pan reports, the woman says the driver who hit her walked up to her, hugged her, apologized, and then left the scene. Kateri Birkenhire says this could have happened to anyone. She has spent the last six days in the hospital and she says she knows she's lucky to still be here and credits a number of Good Samaritans who were there to help her that day, including a nurse whom she says came out of nowhere. I'm very grateful. It could have been so much worse. And I'm very grateful that everyone stopped to help me. From her hospital bed Thursday via Zoom, Kateri Bergenhauer says she will be forever indebted to those who stopped to help her on probably the worst day of her life, especially the nurse who stopped. Kateri and her mother have searched for her ever since. I want to tell this nurse, thank you. Thank you for being selfless. Thank you for being an angel for my child. Kateri was driving eastbound on I-20 near Wesley Chapel Road last Friday around 2 o'clock in the afternoon when she says two drivers were drag racing and one hit her. My car flipped and it felt like it happened in slow motion and I just rem remember saying, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What's unbelievable, the driver who hit her, Kateri says, stopped and spoke to her. Ironically, the driver of the car who hit me came to me and started hugging me and saying, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. We're gonna get you to the hospital, we're gonna get you to the hospital. And as I'm trying to kick out the window, the windshield of the car, they get into, I presume, is another friend's car and leave the scene. Medics rushed her to the hospital with a severe injury to her left arm. She lost so much tissue and blood, doctors had to operate on Monday. Both mother and daughter still appalled at how this all happened. Just the sheer stupidity of people that would race on a highway and put other people's lives at risk. DeKalb County Police say the case is still under investigation and no arrests have been made. As for the nurse, she is being described as an African-American woman in her 40s, shoulder length hair, wearing glasses, and at the time her husband was driving a black pickup. If you know this woman, feel free to tweet me at Patty P. Fox 5. I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News.